Over the last few years, the real estate market has taken a tremendous hit, with the slumping economy causing buying and selling activity in the market to halt. But finally, a silver lining, as president of the Turks and Caicos Real Estate Association, Catherine Brown, told News 4 in an interview, much has changed and real estate agencies across the islands are seeing improvement. We're finding this year that uh, real estate is better than it was last year by um, quite a lot. January and February were fairly quiet, but March and April and May are doing quite well, actually. So we're very hopeful for the, the remainder of the year. There are over 25 real estate agencies in the TCI who were all affected by the slumping market. But what caused this downfall? Brown explains. Well, the economic situation, of course, uh, was a big part of it. Um, our, our main customer base has been traditionally from the U.S., the eastern seaboard. So with the uh, banking disaster there and the economic fall, even pe people that do have uh, wealth hold back. So everyone was waiting to see that their investment in the U.S. would recover and that they would be back on sound um, ground before they would start investing again here. Um, I guess the government um, takeover or the interim government coming in probably had a, a little to do with it, uh, but I don't think that was the main thing. I, I really think it was the economic situation around the world. But according to Brown, the interim government is now working in their favor as a new structure of stamp duty process was recently announced. As of May 7th, the, the interim government has introduced uh, stamp duty reduction and also an option to pay. The nine and three quarter level over 25,000 that has been in effect is now um, less than 25 always has been no duty. But from 25,000 to 500,000, the stamp duty in Provo and West Caicos is 4%. Now, also with that, that the purchaser now has an option to pay that 4% over a four-year period of 1% per year. This new structure varies based on the price of the property on Providenciales and West Caicos. Anywhere between $500,000 and $1.5 million is 6% stamp duty. Between $1.5 million and $3 million is 8%, and more than $3 million is 10%. And on all other islands, stamp duty varies from 2 to 5% based on the price of the property. Brown says that this new structure can and will benefit the local community as well. This new option to pay over uh, a four-year period, I think, is going to be most helpful for the local community so that they can buy, because when they go f for a loan, they have to have their deposit and they have to have their stamp duty and they have to have their legal fees uh, when they go to buy something. So rather than now having to put up whatever the percentage is up front, they can pay it over a four-year period. So that's more incentive for the local people to be buying houses and, and um, as far as the banks and getting loans, there's, there's money there to lend. All the banks have told us that. It's just that anyone coming in must qualify and this may make it easier. As for the real estate market continuing to get back on its feet, Brown says that all of the indirect marketing and the rise in tourism has also benefited the industry. We've got so much to offer here. We've um, uh, TripAdvisor, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, has just uh, voted Turks and Caicos Islands uh, number one beaches and number eight vacation spot in the world. So all of these things help us and as we grow and develop and whatever our service level, uh, our infrastructure, the shops coming in, uh, the turnover of real estate, there's still millions of people out there that uh, have yet to hear about us and that will, when they do, will want to come and visit and some will stay and want to be a part of our uh, uh, community. For WIV4 News, I'm Amanda Miller.